Chapter 5. The Tranquil Beauty of Batambang Leaving behind the bustling streets of Phnom Penh, I embarked on a journey to the serene countryside and arrived in the charming town of Batambang. Chapter 5 of my Cambodian adventure was dedicated to exploring the tranquil beauty and rich cultural heritage of this idyllic destination. Batambang, nestled along the banks of the Sangkai River, welcomed me with open arms. The town exuded a laid-back atmosphere, where time seemed to slow down and the stresses of the outside world melted away. As I wandered through the quaint streets lined with French colonial buildings, I felt a sense of nostalgia and a connection to a bygone era. One of the highlights of my visit to Batambang was a leisurely boat ride along the tranquil Sengkai River. Drifting along the calm waters, I was captivated by the picturesque landscapes that unfolded before my eyes. Lush greenery, swaying palm trees, and traditional stilted houses adorned the riverbanks, creating a scene straight out of a postcard. The journey took me to the floating village of Kampong Pluk, where houses perched on wooden stilts rose above the water. As I glided through the village, I witnessed the everyday lives of the locals, their houses, schools, and even a floating market all built on the water. It was a fascinating glimpse into a way of life intricately intertwined with the river, where the ebb and flow of the water dictated the rhythms of their existence. Batambang's cultural heritage came alive as I explored the local arts scene. The town was known for its thriving artistic community, and I had the opportunity to visit workshops and galleries that showcased traditional Khmer art forms, Skilled artisans demonstrated the meticulous process of silk weaving, intricate pottery making, and delicate silverwork. The dedication and craftsmanship that went into these creations were truly awe-inspiring. No visit to Batambang would be complete without experiencing the renowned bamboo train, known locally as the Nori. This unique mode of transportation consisted of a simple bamboo platform atop two axles, powered by a small motor. Sitting on the bamboo platform, I whizzed through the picturesque countryside, the wind in my hair and the rhythmic clattering of the train tracks creating a sense of adventure and excitement. As I ventured beyond the town, I discovered the natural wonders that surrounded Batambang. The nearby Phnom Sampo, a limestone hill dotted with ancient temples and caves, offered breathtaking panoramic views of the countryside. I climbed the steps to Wat Banan, a temple perched atop the hill, and was rewarded with a stunning vista of rice paddies stretching as far as the eye could see. Batambang was also home to the Ferry Ponloi Selpak Circus, a social enterprise that provided a platform for talented young performers to showcase their skills. I attended a mesmerizing circus performance where acrobatics, music, and storytelling merged into a captivating spectacle. The energy and passion displayed by the performers left an indelible impression on me. In the evenings, I indulged in the vibrant street food scene that Batambang had to offer. Night markets sprung to life, their colorful stalls tempting me with a variety of delicious Khmer dishes. I savored the flavors of lok lok, fish curry, and fresh spring rolls, accompanied by the sweet and tangy taste of palm sugar-infused drinks. Batambang had captured my heart with its tranquil beauty, artistic spirit, and warm hospitality. The town provided a sanctuary where I could immerse myself in the simple pleasures of life and connect with the natural and cultural wonders that surrounded me. As I bid farewell to this hidden gem, I carried with me a sense of serenity and gratitude for the experiences that unfolded during my time in Batambang. Before my departure, I couldn't resist the opportunity to explore more of Batambang's cultural offerings. The town was renowned for its vibrant art scene, and I was eager to witness the creativity that flowed through its streets. I visited art galleries showcasing contemporary works by local artists, each piece telling a unique story and reflecting the diverse perspectives of the Cambodian people. The fusion of traditional techniques with modern interpretations left me inspired and in awe of the artistic talent that thrived in this corner of Cambodia. Batambang was also home to several ancient temples that offered a glimpse into the region's spiritual and historical past. I ventured to Wat Ek Phnom, a temple complex dating back to the 11th century. 
Its weathered stone structures stood as a testament to the passage of time and the endurance of faith. I immersed myself in the peaceful ambience, observing the devout worshipers paying their respects and finding solace in their prayers. To further connect with the local traditions, I had the opportunity to participate in a traditional Khmer cooking class. Under the guidance of a skilled chef, I learned the secrets of preparing authentic Cambodian dishes. From aromatic curries to refreshing salads, I discovered the delicate balance of flavors that defined Khmer cuisine. The experience deepened my appreciation for the culinary heritage of Cambodia and left me with cherished recipes to recreate at home. Batambang's tranquil beauty extended beyond its urban landscape. I embarked on a cycling adventure through the surrounding countryside, pedaling along peaceful trails that meandered through verdant rice fields and quaint villages. The simplicity of life in these rural communities offered a refreshing perspective, reminding me of the beauty found in the unhurried rhythms of nature. As the sun began to set, casting a golden hue across the countryside, I found myself on the banks of the Songkai River once more. I marveled at the reflection of the vibrant hues in the water, a mirror of the captivating landscapes that had unfolded before me. In that moment, I realized that Batambang's tranquil beauty went beyond its physical allure. It encompassed the genuine warmth and hospitality of its people, who welcomed me with open arms and shared their stories with genuine enthusiasm. As I prepared to bid farewell to Batambang, I carried with me a profound appreciation for this hidden gem of Cambodia. The town had captivated my senses, offering a serene respite and a deeper understanding of the country's cultural tapestry. The memories of its tranquil beauty, vibrant art scene, and heartfelt connections would forever be etched in my heart. But my Cambodian adventure was far from over. There were more chapters to be written, more destinations to explore, and more stories to be told. With newfound inspiration and a sense of wonder, I set my sights on the next chapter of my journey, a quest to uncover the mysteries of the mighty Tonle Sap Lake and the remote communities that thrived along its shores. Cambodia had embraced me with open arms, and I was eager to continue unraveling its secrets, one chapter at a time.